Good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. Welcome back to my channel. But today's guest is from Indonesia. Today we're going to break down 10 stereotypes and misunderstandings about Indonesia and Indonesians. If you would like to see these kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel. Hi guys, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Fatima. People call me Fatima or Timmy in here. And I'm 22. I'm Indonesian, obviously. And I'm studying landscape architecture um, fourth grade here. Apa kabar hari ini, Fatima? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, baik. Terima kasih. Kamu apa kabar? Uh, saya baik. Terima kasih. No, so, uh, by my bahasa finished, yes. right? He learned uh, very well. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. we can start with. All right. My first question. As people, uh, this is only my opinion. I have got no full research or uh. valid information sources. Um, based on what I saw or what I've read, read on the news, some re some regions are conservative, some regions are not conservative. It depends on the locations, but still, um, generalize the country. I think it is. Right, Indonesia is the world's most Muslim populated country, right? Indeed. So, how people when you compare. Uh, Turkey uh, to Indonesia in terms of performing their religious uh, practices, which one comes first? The, uh, like, uh, which one is the most conservative? Conservative plus practicing their religion. Oh, I think Indonesian is more, um, how do I say it? Uh, apply their Islamic, um, what was it? Policy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of Turkish. Turkish more conservative. In my opinion. Komodo dragon, as I remember, they have 2 meter length and um, reach 70 kilograms of weight. Right. So they eat maybe 5 kilograms of meat each day. And recently, unfortunately, because of human activity, so their um, space of movement or their life, their habitats is getting worse. And they're one of the most endangered species in the earth as well. Have you ever seen Komodo dragon? I haven't, unfortunately, because uh, normally they located only on that island. Maybe, even though we have uh, the Komodo dragon on several zoos, I have no further information about that. Do you have any relative in Komodo Island? No, <laughs> it's a small island. Thanks a lot. No problem. Um, my question number three. Um, yeah, you people chat a lot. Yes, we, we are using it. So when we normally when people say lol or ha ha ha, we type wk wk wk. Where does it come from? Uh, it actually came from shortened from English, but I don't really remember since when or where is it come from or who started that first. Okay. But till now we're still using it for um, expressions of laughing. All right. So wk stands for something. Yes. But we're not sure where it yeah. comes from. All right. Most of Indonesians are light. Uh, in my opinion, maybe because um, less of respect of whoever come on time. So whoever come on time, and they always tolerance for whoever come late. And then it's become um, habit. Well, so it's like it doesn't matter. I'm late or I'm coming. Uh, I'm come. I will come on time. They will still accept me. Most of Indonesians are light. Even one hour late, five minutes late, doesn't matter. Well, in some countries, it's, it's opposite in Japan and Germany. Yeah. Which they, whatever you said, it's kind of vice versa. Yes. Are you, you seem so satisfied with It's, it's actually late. not satisfying, but uh, <laughs> because me, myself, I'm trying to be on time, but uh, it's, you know, it's disrespectful to coming late. So I try, me, myself, I'm trying to be on time always. Okay. Right, and currently, how many mothers do you have? Currently? How many mothers do you have? How many mothers? Mo mothers. I have one. 
Okay. You were referring to something else. <laughs> Polygamism is widespread. Is it true that polygamism, because it's legally allowed in Indonesia? It is legally allowed and it's quite widespread in society. So, yeah, it's kind of normal to uh, a man to have more than one wife, maybe two or four. That's fair enough. Uh, you people smile a lot. We smile a lot. Even at sleep? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Some people, yes. Some people laughing in sleep. It's like sleep talking, but sleep smiling. But awake or asleep, we smile everywhere to whoever we know or we don't know them. We're still smiling. It's kind of like, um, how do I say it? Uh, friendly. You know, we're trying to express that we're friendly to you. We're not a threat. And it's like, oh, hello, hi. We don't know them. Like, <laughs> just like that. Everyone, to everyone. Um. Do you do, say, do you do the same with Turkish in Turkey? Yeah, I, yeah, we do it. All right. And people, some, some, um, some countries or some foreigners, they confuse at first, but thank God that Indonesian known as uh, Indonesian smiles a lot. All right. So how would you express your anger? Anger, actually, sometimes we smile while we're angry, maybe. It's like, <laughs> it's, you know, you know the, the kind of expressions. Some people smile while we're angry, but we're angry like other people, like other countries. So would you shout? Would you curse when you're angry? Um, normally people would shout or curse, but I prefer silence because so, I don't give a thing anymore. So what, what's the most common um, and it's a curse or a swear in, in Indonesia? In Indonesia we are using animals, like dog. I would say instead of dog. Anak anjing, oh no, no, it's, it, anak anjing means puppy, but son of dog, anak of anjing, oh, we don't using that, we're not using that. All right. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry too. <laughs> yeah, just All for right. information. <clears throat> uh, well, okay. Is it true that majority of Indonesians cannot swim, or is it just a nonsense uh, Opinion. misconception? Right. Inception. Misinterception, maybe yes, because... Some people can, some Indonesians can swim and some of them cannot swim. It depends on maybe their habits or family or traditional or wherever they live. Because my family, um, my mother's side's family, we live near beaches and the sea, so we swim every day. But my dad, he lives in the middle of the town. Okay. So the, if, if they would like to swim, they will swim in the swimming pool. It's a common thing as well in Indonesia. Most of people can swim, but there are also people who cannot swim. When did you learn swimming? Three years old, three years old, since, I don't know, young age. It's like we're, um, at first we just play on the water, on the sea, and then we swim, eventually. Okay, right. that's nice. Fatima, my question number eight. Uh, you know, you have wonderful places like Bali. Yeah. Uh, one of the world's most sightseeing location, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, I mean, majority of Europeans and Westerners come to Westerners. visit there. And is it uh, true that uh, in Indonesia, Westerners are assumed to be rich? Yes. So that's why they're going to be charged. Charged accordingly, more. Right. Yes, charged more than local people. I think, yes, it is. Because first, the dollar value is high in Indonesia. So people assume that, oh, you came from West and you can pay us more. It's not expensive for you, but this is valuable for us. Do they do the same uh, to Indonesians? Um, some people, yes. As long as you're tourists, um, whether you're Indonesians or not Indonesians, you're tourists and you pay for me and this is the price. But sometimes, you know, this kind of like friendly people, right. like, oh, where do you come from? Oh, I come from this city. Oh, me too. And they will give like little discount because they came from the same hometown. Maybe. Last two questions. Uh, Indonesians use umbrella to avoid the sun for the fear of darkening skin. <laughs> yep, we're using umbrella for the rain and also for the sun because it's like beauty standard of Indonesia that white skin is beautiful or gorgeous is everyone try wants everyone wants to be wants to have white skin so they try to avoid sun in any ways so they use umbrella. So white skin is adored. Yes. 
All right. And question number 10 mm -hmm. be, uh, do Indonesians and Malaysians hate each other? Or uh, I would say, how would you, okay, my question 10.1 actually. Got it. How would you differentiate Indonesians Malaysians. from Malaysians? Well, at, uh, first, like 10th question, the A, the right, one, the first right. part, um, do we hate each other? So actually, as a country, maybe not. But the people inside, some people, yes, they hate each other. Based, Why is that? Based on different, um, different opinion, like Indonesian is more this and this and this. They try to put themselves higher than the opposite country, whether that Malaysians or whether that Indonesians. Some people, like they are fighting for culture, fighting for the original, the origins of um, patterns of clothes or foods or anything else. But there are also some people are having good connection with each other. Which you basically belong to the same root. Yes, indeed, Malayu. 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 So you're Malayu. Malayan. Mal Malayu, yes I am. <laughs> so, As a root. Uh, Indonesia and Malaysia. Uh, Brunei, Brunei, Singapore, Singapore, East Timor now? East Timor, maybe not. <laughs> okay, you belong to the same route? Yeah, actually East Timor, um, for routes maybe yes, but their governmental systems or where they belong to, maybe not similar to Malayu, my opinion. Yeah, because East Timor was under the yes. Indonesian occupation for years. Yes. Right, okay, well. Uh, yeah, how would you differentiate Indonesians from uh, Malaysians? Uh, me, myself, I cannot differentiate when I'm facing other people, which actually they're Malaysians, but I still will speak Bahasa to them because I cannot differentiate. We have the same um, face, fe face features. Or maybe uh, if um, based on Mala Malaysian, Malaysians' roots, they have Chinese, Bengal, Bengal like Indian, and Malayu. So, if we saw Chinese, they might be Malaysians. Or maybe someone that's similar to Indian, they might be Malaysians. Because of interracial marriage? E interracial oh, I, marriage. I, oh, maybe yes. I have no further information regarding that international marriage. But their roots are those three roots. All right. Indian, Chinese and Malayu. And regarding Malayu, we cannot differentiate whether Indonesian or Malaysian, but um, as long as they, once they speak, once they speak, we will be able to differentiate because of their accent. All right. That's it. Right, okay, so uh, here we go. So my bonus question, would you uh, say some similarities between Turkish language hmm. and Indonesian? I would say Bahasa. Bahasa, Bahasa and Türkçe. Right. Bahasa and Türkçe, uh, some words have similar um, Pronunciation, okay. or even the same pronunciation, pronunciation but different meaning. Oh right. For example, terjeme for Turkish and terjema for Indonesians for Bahasa. Okay. Terjeme, terjema, and uh, malum, malum. Malum. Maklum. Maklum. Yes, we're using K. Maklum. Which is certain. Yes. In Turkish, malum. Yes. All right. And haber, kabar. Okay. Haber for Turkish and kabar for Bahasa. And what else do we have? Do you remember any? Because he's learned Indonesian a lot. Terjume, haber, malum, and we have anything? Anket. Anket is anket. Anket is anket. And misal. Misal is misal. Misal is misal. Yeah, in Turkish and in, in Turkish. Yes, yes. And uh, asal and asli, it's actually similar. Right. Asal, like the exact, the, the true one. Asal and asli. And for the same words, but different meaning, like ada and ada. Ada in Turkey means island, right. but ada in, Indo in Bahasa means existence. Right. Varlalik. Okay. Var. And like bebek and bebek. In Turkey, bebek means duck, but in, in Bahasa, bebek means baby. Bebek means. Sorry, sorry, that was the opposite. In Trikche, Bebek is baby, and in, in, in Bahasa, Bebek is duck. 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 What else do we have? Anything what else? What else? I don't remember. I know only Apa Kabar Hari Ini, Selamat Nigmati. Yeah. Selamat Datang. Selamat Datang, Selamat Tinggal. Right. Saya Cinta Kamu. Yes, as you have learned. What else have you had we learned? Um, saya Orang Tajikistan. Yes, yeah, saya Orang yeah. Tajikistan. Kamu Orang Indonesia. Yep. 
from. Um, right, uh, we might have some, uh, I don't know, I hope we will have some uh, Indonesian uh, followers, subscribers. Indonesian subscribers would and viewers. Would you like to deliver some message to them? Yes, I would like to. So I will speak Bahasa <laughs> right now. Sure. Uh, teman-teman semua, terima kasih sudah menonton dari channel beliau. Uh, pertama-tama, mohon maaf kalau misalkan ada beberapa pendapat yang berbeda. Karena <laughs> kita datang dari daerah yang berbeda-beda juga dan tumbuh di lingkungan yang berbeda. Jadi... Insyaallah tetap tolerans. Right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot to you too. Good luck yeah. with your channel. And I thank you a lot for your precious time to join me in today's session. Yes, anytime. Uh, and mm-hmm. uh, thank yeah, you for everyone. inviting me as well you're as welcome. Indonesians. Right, you're welcome. So uh, we came to the end of today's session. If you would like to see these kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel. But I will see you next time. Goodbye.